Hello Coders. I wanted to talk to you about my experience becoming a developer, learning how to code, and landing my first development job. I know that just about every coder YouTuber out there has their own version of the story and I wanted to share my unique story with you so that hopefully I can reflect back on it and give you some tips so you don't have the same shortcomings that I did. So when I first began coding, I obviously had zero coding experience. I had a mathematics background in college and I had taken a few courses on Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Access for databases, but I really wanted to get into coding. So I applied for a job as a junior developer and I went through their battery of tests and interviews. I think I had a phone interview and two in-person interviews and probably four different tests. And the tests were both paper tests, like in school, either writing pseudocode or figuring out logic problems. I believe they were trying to assess if I could think like a programmer and had logical thought processes. And then they also gave tests where they would literally stand over my shoulder and ask me to perform certain tasks on the computer. I believe these were just to test my computer literacy and aptitude, having me move files around and type out some pseudocode, things like that. So the whole process of the interviews and the tests, it took about a month but I actually got the job as a junior developer at a Fortune 500 company and I was so fortunate to be surrounded by coworkers who were like mentors to me. They were willing to help me, um, teach me, and answer any questions that I had and it was just a wonderful culture to be immersed in. So after a few years in that development role, I started to pick up different jobs and different tasks there for other departments. And I came across a ticket that required some HTML coding, which I was not familiar with at the time. And I had a coworker help me out, of course, but I really enjoyed that little taste of HTML coding. And so outside of my job on my own, I did some research and actually learned how to code in HTML and CSS and then started playing around and building websites for myself and for my friends and family. And so after a few more years as a developer, I eventually left that job. Then I did some freelance web development and digital marketing on my own. A few years later, I actually went back to school for data science. So in a nutshell, that's my story, but I wanted to share my story with you because I feel like I have different perspectives. I feel like I've been through the gamut of learning how to code. I learn how to code one language on the job. I learn how to code HTML and CSS on my own. And then I also formally went to school to learn Python and all the data science libraries like NumPy, Pandas, TensorFlow, Keras, so many. So I know firsthand how scary it can be learning how to code starting from ground zero with no experience. All those things, I've been through it. So I'm hoping that by sharing my story and reflecting back on some of those speed bumps and shortcomings that I can share with you some tips that I wish I would have known before I started on my coding journey and hopefully they will help you on yours. So my first tip is to pick a path and don't get overwhelmed. The world of coding is so enormous and you don't have to learn everything. There's no way you can learn everything. There are so many different languages and libraries and there are new libraries coming out all the time and updates to those libraries. You cannot learn everything. So the best way to learn how to code is to pick a path. 
do some research and find what interests you most. Do you want to learn user interface or web development? If so, that path could be to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Or maybe you're interested in data science, in which case you might want to learn Python and pick a few Python libraries to start out with. So just know in advance that there is so much out there to choose from, but you should niche down and pick a path that you're interested in. Tip number two is to create SMART goals. Now, I didn't learn about SMART goals until well after I had already started coding, but I use the SMART goal method in so many different areas of my life, and I find that for me personally, it helps me to achieve my goals. So SMART goals are a way to measure the attainability of your goal and help keep you on track. And these are scientifically proven methods to achieve a goal faster. And if you're not familiar with SMART goals or you'd like an example, then I will link in the description my video on SMART goals for those who are learning how to code. My next tip is to learn hands-on by doing. Now, there are so many tutorials and so many courses out there, and you can get stuck in this perpetual loop of watching tutorials or reading about code and not actually implementing it. So if you're a hands-on learner like myself, the best way is to watch a tutorial or go through a course and then implement it. So build things and build some more and build different versions of them. Watch a tutorial, then build it. Watch another one, build again. For me, this is hands down the best way to learn how to code. My next tip is to be persistent. It is really easy to forget what you learned if you are only coding once a month or every few months. If you can get a better schedule where you are coding every day or even just once or twice a week, you are more likely to retain what you've learned and be able to implement it. It's also tempting to give up when you get stuck and you just can't figure something out. Trust me, I've been there. We all have. All coders get stuck. But that is an opportunity to learn. Google is your friend. There are so many other resources out there that can help you. There are plenty of videos and tutorials. When you get stuck on a piece of code, don't give up. There's plenty of help out there, so take advantage of it. And be a problem solver, not a problem acceptor. That is what being a coder is. Anyway, we are solving problems through tech. We're solving problems through apps, or through programs. Being a good coder means being a good problem solver. And my very last tip, but most important tip, is to believe in yourself. You can do this. Don't be scared to just jump in and see what you can do. So I hope my story and my tips help you on your coding journey. Don't give up. I know you can do this.